you know, any, any issue which is not in the interest of the people. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and we do need to, at times, fight against uh, what large corporations are pushing for. Some of them are very short term. Uh, and they such a lot of corporations to do bad things. Big corporations are like people. Like some people are good people's time. You know, like, uh, you know, some, some corporations are good business. Some are sort of meddling and some, but, uh, some corporations are bad. And it's uh, just like people, you know, it's the way you think of corporations. We're going to talk to corporations that want to do bad things, uh, make sure they're doing things that are in the interest of people. Uh, and then the corporations that want to do good things, they shouldn't be slowed down by a small brain regulation. We all need to be responsible citizens and pay attention to what's going on in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I think these things should be done very much in the open so people can understand what's going on and stuff and, you know, understand us. So, it's just so nice if you guys disrespect me. Hey, you all, how are you? I'm uh, proud. Uh, these are two tough acts to follow here, but uh, my question is a little more simple. Uh, what are some of the first courses of action you plan to take as a head of government efficiency if uh, Trump gets elected? And do you have any areas of concern in particular? Yeah, uh, let me see this question. Um, I, I definitely, uh, you know, the focus right now is making sure that Trump uh, wants the election. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't matter. And, and I think if, if, if uh, Trump loses, we're going to see, you know, our cities are going to get less safe. Uh, the borders is also going to be wide open. Um, we're going to see job spending go molested. It's inflation go nuts. It's going to be just bad on, on every level. And, 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 and like, look, fundamentally, if the, the current trend of, of, you know, strength, strength, of strangulation, micro-regulation is not to turn around, we will not get to Mars. It just will be illegal. Uh, and there will be one planet civilization where everyone can stay experiencing civilization and stop the stop will never be real. Um, and I'll stop you to be real. Now, I've been having quite a bit of interaction with the government, uh, you know, because uh, SpaceX is the biggest uh, NASA contractor, actually, just with a lot of work with NASA. And I'm pretty kind of the agency, by the way. Uh, but, but it's because, you know, there are some expansions that don't make a lot of sense, uh, that, that are wasteful. Uh, and uh, we need to bring ourselves to that. Um, honestly, the, 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 there's so much government waste that's going on that I would call it a change of rich environment. Like, you two guys are, like, any other direction, there's this just mad waste. And I think so many, if, if people simply know about it, well, if, if they waste this kind of taxpayer money, they're going to get fired. And that will immediately improve the situation. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just literally, and, and, and I think that actually it's very both part and it's good. It's like, so if, if a government official is very attractive, spending your money, to your taxpayer money is your money. <laughs> If they're effectively you spending your money, they should be promoted. They should be rewarded. And if, and if they waste your money or, or do it just to something that's basically corrupt, they should be fired. Obviously. Um, you know, they have a duty to spend their money. Yeah. Hey, Yohan. Um, as a veteran who was deployed because of a lie that was sold 21 years ago, uh, a lot of lies are going to get. There's a lot of lies. So, with that, yeah. I was running on a campaign to make disinformation illegal. So yeah, it's just being the information they are like. So, what we just saw. What we just saw in the past. What we just saw in an administration and a candidacy that is spreading lies or disinformation about the troops that are currently in combat, my friends. Yeah, I'm going to steal that today and Hunter Biden's lap got president's supply of soap. Yeah, I mean, during like, the, you know, Trump followed debate, she said there was no active duty soldiers out there. I'm like, I know a whole bunch of them. What are you talking about? That's just, that's so, that's a shameful, terrible lie. And, and she wasn't even back to it. And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, yeah, thank you.
Yeah, it looks like the people that are going to be throwing Americans out there who are serving in dangerous places right now, unlike what Paula said. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Elon, thank you for stepping up to help America when you don't have to. Like, you can be on a fire. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I can't be. You know, I can't be. Yeah. I have a lot of jobs. Um, so, um, no, it's true. I mean, if there are, you know, a lot of people I know who are on a yacht, so been a my time, one over in the island, you know, from out and, you know, uh, that, that is the thing I could be doing. Um, but but I, and I think I, I, I can't I can't do that if, if, if I think the future of civilization is at stake, which I think. Um, one, do you know Alberto Kangawala? He's the system manager for uh, Europa Clipper. Oh, which you said? That's a full mission, by the way. Which you said in the space on Monday. Yeah, thank you very much. Absolutely. In fact, that, that was a mission where I talked to the you know, space team. It's like, you know, every mission is but, you know, this mission is extra important. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it, 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 I, I'm not, you know, I, I want to, I, I think, like you, it's like, like I think any, any, most people, like, I want a future where you look forward to it and you're excited about what's going to happen, that we're going to learn new things, that we're, you know, that it's going to be better than the past. Um, you know, and I think we're, we're, we're in space bearing civilization, and we're happy among the stars, uh, where Star Trek is real. Yeah. That's exciting. I mean, they have to be, like, life can't just be about solving one problem after another. They have to be things that inspire you, that move your heart. Yeah, that's a lot more to walk. At some point, we should walk the walk drive. Um, but, you know, but if you found the walk drive, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the software, the rocket made by SpaceX is capable of building a city on Mars and a city on the moon. That's what it's designed to do. But we're, we're being massively uh, uh, slowed down by regulatory molasses. Um, and I'll tell you like a crazy thing. If we're gonna find out hundred forty thousand dollars for what you gave for for dumping fresh water on the ground, drinking water. That's crazy. It's crazy. Like, so I'll just an example of just how crazy it is. And we're like, well, we're just we're, we're using our water to cool the launch pad during launch. You know, which is where cool the launch pads are over here. Uh, and in an excess of fortune, we actually uh, brought in drinking water, so clean it to clean water. And the FAA says we have to pay $140,000 fine. Uh, and we're like, we went to the star bases in a tropical thunderstorm area. Sky water falls all the time. <laughs> that is the same as the water that we use. It's, it's lots of sky water. <laughs> so, and, and, and it's like, we didn't actually use <laughs> the alcohol to, to anything. And they said, yeah, we didn't have a permit. We're like, do you need a permit for fresh water? Like, you, what? It's just it's totally crazy stuff like that. And they said, if we don't pay a fine, they're not going to process any of our future applications. So, like, this is like kind of crazy stuff we're dealing with. That's me, you got a deep roll, Elon. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. Hi, Elon. Um, my name is Sarah. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm in Poke in here. Um, uh, first of all, I, I'm really excited about your um, re uh, uh, recapping of this uh, rockets and your happy Loft program. Um, we actually, at this critical moment, have a proposal to turn the rest, the, the blue states in red quickly. Um, I'd like to sincerely like to, uh, to accept our proposal, uh, I mean, the, the proposal. Um, 
And, uh, you know, we want to have some further discussion with you and really thank you for putting everything you have, risking everything you have to support President Trump to take our country back. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. I met you in the Patra. All right. Yeah, we shake the hands. I last week I also fly to the Austin one five you. So glad you are here. Welcome. I used to be have a business 17 years here. This right. thank, right. you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll take a few more questions and then um, and, and then wrap it up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so go ahead. Elon, my name's Kevin, and I grew up uh, right in here, right in Springfield, close by. And I want to thank you for all you've given up. You were the media darling, and you've sacrificed everything for freedom right now. And I, I, I want to thank you for my family. And I also want to thank you. I want to say thank you for all the lives that, I, that I've been saved with, with your full self-driving and all the future lives that they save with that. That that is one of the greatest yeah. things you've pulled off. So thank you. I use that every day. The most local. Yeah, I mean, the tiny lives and the many serious injuries. And then also give people a time back so they can, you know, they can just be in their car and do whatever they want and watch you know, movies or whatever they want to do. Um, it'll be great. I, I, I absolutely agree. My question for you is, and this is a very confusing thing in, in Pennsylvania, do you think that we should, as a voter, vote in person, wait until voting day to vote in person, or 